My name is Sergeant Artie and today we are conducting our third day of the BOC. Today is the final day of the cycle and this afternoon we'll be graduating our students. I'm a prior service soldier and I'm also an ROTC graduate. Switch left and split from safe to semi. Fire when ready. Natural point of aim is no matter what position you're in, close your eyes. What we're going to do on the firing orders, we're going to give you the command to do a grouping exercise. Command you're going to take fire. your position, you're going to fire three rounds. I do solemnly swear or affirm. I do solemnly swear. I will support and defend the Constitution. I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States. Of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of California. And the Constitution of the State of California. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Thank you. Attention to orders. Staff Sergeant Welker displayed exemplary initiative and professional achievement by preparing and presenting to over 100 students federal emergency management agency courses. And I foresee when we're qualified that people at Colonel Wilson's ill can put out information that we have the qualified people to go out and fill in, that there will be activations we go in and assist civil authority. Today we are supporting the 79th IBCT in their combat simulation. Our soldiers will be assisting in their different areas and as public affairs we will be covering the day's events. Imagine if, if this entire facility were in a foreign land 8,000 miles from here, we be bringing in our own food, or food, water, and shelter, and there might be hostile forces out there we, we would need to be aware of. And my job isn't uh, is is to support the medics here, and we have uh, folks that may come in with uh, what, what we would consider mundane injuries or illnesses in the states. But if you're 8,000 miles from here, you couldn't drive to see your own physician. So we have we have a cadre of medics that, that take care of them. What we're doing is a field training exercise. What we accomplished today was uh, basically a training mission all day with the Humvees. We practiced uh, going through an obstacle course, through mud pits, over hills, uh, practicing the, using the gear boxes. I've been in the SMR about a year and a half, and it seemed like a great opportunity to really be with the guardsmen and support them. I also think it's a great way to show the guardsmen that there, there is a dedicated group of people that really are here to, to support them and to help them, and I think that makes their jobs a lot easier. For the California State Military Reserve, this is a typical training day, a UTA, where troops are out there doing their uh, routines of uh, training, preparation, uh, reviews, uh, in their work to support the California National Guard uh, and to uh, support the own internal affairs activities of the California State Military Reserve. So this is a typical Saturday here at Los Alamitos. The second exercise was a combined uh, desert uh, rolling hill environment where we had enemy soldiers swarming over the hill and enemy vehicles coming into view and again we would shoot at them. Thanks so much. Appreciate it. You give me the photos by Wednesday. I'll work this thing up. We're good to go. Here we go again. Here we go again. Same old stuff again. Marching down the avenue, marching down the avenue. Two more weeks and I'll be through. Two more weeks and I'll be through. I'll be glad and so will you. I'll be glad and so will you. Am I right or wrong? You're right. Are we weak strong? We're strong. Sound off. One, two. Sound off. Three, four. Sound off. One, two, three, four. Sound off. Three, four. Stand at! Stand at! He! Okay, 
This is what we've been waiting for. This is it. This is the promotion ceremony. All right, adjutant, post. Command, up to it. Up. By order of the governor, Sergeant First Class Donald Pauline has been promoted to the grade of Master Sergeant. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Major Christopher Cervantes. Uh-oh. There's a squid amongst us. <laughs> By order of the governor, Major Christopher Cervantes is promoted to Lieutenant Colonel. Uh, or commander, right? <laughs> Thanks, sir. You know, it's an absolute delight for me to be able to come down and to talk to you today. Uh, when you go into a job like the uh, commanding general of the State Military Reserve, you're uh, always a little bit of trepidation around there, figuring out you know what's going to happen and, and what is going on with the situation and just uh, how is the work going to get done. Uh, but then you come down to a formation such as this and you see all the people that are actually on the ground doing the work and you really get recharged. I am absolutely delighted to be here. I'm delighted about the work that you're doing, but when I have an opportunity to come down and talk to you, uh, especially in this type of situation early in my command, I'm going to go through and take you through the rules that I think you ought to be applying and living by. Believe what you do makes a difference. Focus on serving others. Dwell on the positive. Your band's late, sir. <laughs> you know, do your best. That's the fourth one. Do your best. And lastly, don't forget to enjoy life. That's a handful of things. But if you focus on that handful of things, you'll do awesome work. You'll continue to do awesome work. I thank each and every one of you for your service. It's an absolute delight and privilege for me to be your commanding general. And I look forward to getting those continuing awesome reports about the work that you're doing. Uh, today's events, after General Candy is through with you, we have several training classes going on, and then we have NCO DP going on this afternoon. We'll be having a staff meeting for only the staff principals with the CG. At this point in time, we will be giving some awards. So, Brigade! Attention! Attention! Take charge of the formation and releasing the train. Is Colonel Wilson not going to take it, sir? No. no. Commanders, take charge of your battalions, release them for training. Oh. Oh. Being a part of the, the SMR is a chance to continue to serve uh, our state and uh, continue to be out here and train and lead our troops so that we can be ready for the mission. Everywhere we go, ho! Everywhere we go, ho! People wanna know, ho! People wanna know!